I'm going to show you how to play the board. The first thing you want to do is select a square on the board. It doesn't matter what square you select because the numbers aren't drawn until the board is full, until everybody has a square and all the squares are taken up and paid. Then you'll use playing cards, which I'll have recorded. You mix up the playing cards and ace is one, ten is zero, and what you do is go through the cards, four, five, you go through the cards and in that order is what order you put the numbers in the AFC column and you'll redo it and do the numbers for the NFC column. That's when you know what your numbers are going to be. It's before the game so you can't predict it. The numbers can be anything. And to get the winner is you take the last digit of each of the scores each quarter. So let's say at the end of the first quarter AFC ends up with 7, NFC ends up with 14. You'll take the 7 and you'll take the 4. If it's 0 to 7, it's 0, 7. 0 to 14, it's 0, 4. Then what you want to do is when you got them last digits, you go to the NFC column, find the digit that's in blue that matches that digit, and then the AFC digit. And you'll go across the board until they intersect. And the square that has the initial and where they intersect is the winner of the quarter. You can win up to four times. So odds aren't bad, but that's pretty much how you play the game. The day after the Super Bowl is when the checks will be mailed to the winners. Uh, make sure everything's paid by the 23rd. If not, on the 24th, your square will open back up. And someone can purchase that square. Up until the 28th is when we're going to uh, draw the cards to come up with the numbers. So this, whatever's left on the board from the 24th until the 28th, if there's squares left, you can buy the squares. If not, the house will buy whatever squares needs to be bought by the 28th. Well, good luck. Thanks.